Right, um, let me just check here. Welcome everybody. I'm just making sure we've got microphone. Right, before we go any further, can I just get a, I'm just gonna have to come in a little bit closer here. Um, can I just get a, a quick AV check from everybody? Can you see us? Give us a, give us a shout uh, and let us know if you can see us uh, and hear us. Mm. Um, I think can. Mickey's on, sadly. <laughs> Sorry about that, Flying Scotsman. Excellent. Right. You can see and hear. Excellent. Okay. In that case, um, my name's Matt Peddleston, and uh, I'm the senior producer on Trains in World, and this I'm is... Dimitri. Uh, I'm a community manager, a new community manager, and so this is our first stream, pretty much, the first stream that I'm going to be taking part in. Um, you will also see us tomorrow, but um, for today, um, we're looking at TS19 and trying to... Uh, get a bit, uh, find out a bit more about myself. So, welcome everyone. Yeah. So, if you've got any questions uh, for Dimitri, fire them over in the chat. Um, I've, we've, through the power of restream chatting, apparently we've got all of the chat yep. coming in from YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, and Steam, mm -hmm. uh, of which we're live on all four at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can catch your uh, questions. Um, good evening, Moggy. Special shout out to Moggy. Always a special shout out to Moggy. <laughs> Uh, and also a special shout out to all of those community members that are helping us with moderation this evening. Very much appreciate everyone taking their time to help us. Right, so as Dimitri said, we are starting with TS 2019. What are we yes. going to do, Dimitri? Um, we're going to play um, the game that I have not so much experience with, but um, quite a good idea of how it all works. So we're going to play on ICE 3 today. Um, we actually... Grab your keyboard. Yes, we actually have two scenarios to play today um, roughly same time so I hope you can see everything not the moment hang on it's being funny in a not very funny way hmm. don't you love it when everything works great and then it doesn't yes there's 99 things that work and one thing that suddenly stops <laughs> working <laughs> this was working oh, here we go there it is boom yes right all right, I'm gonna put on one headphone so that I can hear what's going on in the game. I did set it what's up yesterday, Train Sim Guy, and we spent more time testing it today. Yes, he has a Russian accent. Yes, he is Dimitri, that's my name, and yes, I have a Russian accent. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So we're on Frankfurt High Speed first, um, and we're gonna be doing, what was it after that? Um, PDL. That's it, Portsmouth Direct Line. Yep. We went for a fairly easy um, scenario today because the main idea is that we have a um, publisher weekend, um, which means that we have quite a lot of deals going on on Steam. We, in fact, we have discounts on pretty much all of our products right now, um, up to 60%, uh, depending on uh, which product you're looking at. But you can grab the base game for 40% um, off, um, both TSW and Train Simulator. All DLCs are discounted, so if you are looking to get some route or maybe Loku that you've been um, looking to buy for a long time, it's uh, it's the perfect time right now. Um, so I'm seeing we have a quiet voices. I wonder if the that's voices the case. are very quiet. Let me have a look. Mm. Maybe the game is just drowning us out. The microphone's certainly showing that we're nice and loud. Yeah. I'll dial, dial the game down a bit. <coughs> but we're actually maxed out on the voices for the game. We're almost peaking as well. Yeah. So you should be all right. If we're a bit quiet, then uh, turn up your volume is all mm -hmm. I can suggest there. Some people say it's fine. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so as I said, um, we are a, have a publisher weekend, which is quite a big thing. So we decided um, since I'm, I've just started um, last week and um, we have a publisher weekend, so why not run a stream? because we get a chance to get featured on the main page of Steam, um, which is just perfect, uh, we think, as an opportunity. So today we'll, we're playing TS um, 2019, and tomorrow we'll have a look at TSW. Both, uh, bo both days I will be uh, controlling, uh, driving the trains, while Matt will be... Um, <laughs> I'm watching chat. I get the, I get the difficult after. job, and um, yeah. Um, but... Uh, what time is tomorrow's stream? Um, tomorrow we are starting at 4. So 4, uh, 4 UK time GMT. So that will be roughly 
I can't, I can't say what time this is going to be in the US. It's, it should be five. I think if you check out on all our social media, we put all of the regional yes, locations. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So if you check, make sure you're checked into our normal social media channels. We put announcements out about the chat, the streams, and you'll get your local time there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that TP open? Yes, yeah, so um, it's a quite a, um, a straightforward route. There's nothing really special about this. Um, but we think it, we thought it would be quite good to actually show it to the people who might not have seen the game at all before. As again, I said, uh, we are on the uh, publisher weekend, so quite a few people might grab it uh, this time. So I think it's a perfect opportunity for us to really show what's out there. Um, the weather is um, quite bad today. Yes, by the way, um, if uh, anyone's watching uh, from, let's say, Central Europe, the stream will be at 5, uh, 5 p.m. tomorrow, so I think it's a pretty good time for everyone to just jump in and see how I will be playing TSW. Um, yeah, so how are we in the process? Of, uh, so there's a, question, a couple of questions. So, yeah. Andre, I'll go with new ICE3. No, this is the original ICE3. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, what else have we got? Has someone got a hairdryer on? No. Uh, might, might be the game. Um, it's either that or that's just background noise oh. in the room. Okay. Uh, we're only just starting to get used to streaming in this room. So, can I just check? Can everyone hear the game? Let's <coughs> just press the horn. Because I know that you know previous mm -hmm. train sim stream there was a little bit of a problem with game audio. Yep. Just making sure we don't have that problem again. Um, what else have we got here? Lots of people taking the mickey out of me. Thanks very much, folks. Uh, there's nothing been announced on VR yet, Mr. T. Keeping on the usual channels. A PZB and C for on big bean kit. No, no. Uh, I think we'll we'll start that trial by fire in a gentle process. Um, and I have a sneaky suspicion that it would not be popular if I sneaked PZB and C for on. <laughs> um, you're quite new to the game, aren't you? Um, yes, I'm. I'm fairly new. I'm. I've only been playing for a month or so, so um, let's see, how do we make sure that everything is closed? Uh, it's all closed, you're good to go. Okay. Press reverser into forwards for the W, that's it, yeah. and then uh, release the brakes. Apparently oh. the doors weren't closed. No, no, let's restart that then. Okay. <coughs> Oh, did That's you press okay. the T key again to close uh, the doors? I think so. I think uh, so. That well, make sure, I, because when I was um, testing, I had the same issue. But yeah, you um, don't press the T key to close the doors. That just reopens them again. Okay. But it doesn't then tell you on the user interface that they're open, mm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, if okay. you just hit replay in the bottom right corner. All right. There you go. This hit start. Yeah. There you go. So, fail number one. I'll number take one. that one on number the nose. One. I'll take that one on the nose. Press F. Bad advice from me, as, you know, always. He's going to learn at some point to stop listening to me. Yes, but I, I actually I have to admit I'm a little bit better with TSW, but I think it's mostly because it has a newer interface that is, in some way, um, more, I don't know, more attractive for a younger audience, I suppose. So um, people who have been playing train sims from, um, let's say, early or, or maybe 90s, even um, uh, in the late. Uh, like 2009 when the train sim simulator just came out um or they have they, they're probably used to a slightly different control so tsw seems a little bit more comfortable for me but um um there are some parts of ts 2019 that i do certainly like better um you had fails on all your dev streams killer cans gaming let's be honest killer cans mm -hmm. gaming is uh, is watching the stream he was your predecessor Oh, oh, okay. So, hi, Duke. Hi, Luke. Hope you're all right. I'm hope uh, hoping he uh, um, will enjoy it and <laughs> will not uh, face palm too much from the way I'm playing. So I've had fails on just about every stream I've done as well. You know what? <laughs> fails are natural. <laughs> We're here to have fun and enjoy ourselves. Yes. So, uh, as I said uh, before, if um, if you guys are looking to um, get a, a new route that you or maybe a new loco on a discount right now it's a pretty good idea to do it now um i, I cannot really say anything about the future discounts um, but it's a pretty big sale um i think it would be good if you are here and we will show you the game if you're new please let us know in the comments because this case in this case we will try to explain things a little bit uh, uh in more detail um so let's try again 
the fresh tea chunks of the tea. And what you do is you wait for the red bar to go across. Yeah, yeah. Once the red bar's gone across, what we could do is hop outside mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. we just keep an eye on the door. Yeah, yeah. And that we will know. We, we can sit with the door. Yes, for, for me, the really what's um, the most difficult thing in especially TS19 was the fact that there's such a big variety. I mean, uh, we're talking about the game that's built around a real-life home, right? So it's completely different from, let's say, your normal games that become a hobby uh, over time. So they're just games and they become a hobby, but here we're talking about a real-life thing. And the variety in every train is different. You know, you can take the same class, but um, it will be a different age, just slightly different age, and the controls are completely different. You can, be, you can get lost very easily. Um, I think especially it's um, quite noticeable in TSW, but today we're playing TS19, so um, quite straightforward route. Yes, some, some of our German um, passengers are a bit unhappy about what happened with the first, uh, oh, on our first try. They only fell out, it's fine. There's, there's only a few of them fell out. Mm -hmm. They can take it. Um, yeah, so if you're new to the game, you haven't seen it before, if you've got any questions, just give us a shout. Yes. Um, there'll be, there's people in the chat who've played the game for thousands of hours, you know who you are. Um, and uh, there's uh, people here who've never seen it before, so do do uh, do give us a shout, we'll try and answer your questions. Um, and uh, yes, um, there's several people asking about an update for the 64-bit editor for TS19. Uh, we haven't got any update uh, news on that one, I'm afraid. Uh, aware of all the uh, aware of the problems uh, that have been coming into support, um, and uh, when there's an update uh, or some news on that, we'll definitely let you know. So uh, bear with us on that one. Okay, that's it. Doors are closed. So they are so automatic. Yeah, in this game they are automatic. Yeah. So if you press one to open the cab, so it's probably used to go forward. I'm going to go a little bit uh, on the mouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're off. Slightly. Important well, thing to remember is the signals on this route are on your right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can, you tell, can you tell me one thing? Does it really matter if I just put throttle to the max immediately, or um, is it better to gradually increase it? I mean, obviously, we're talking about passengers that we have in our, uh, uh, on our train. Um, they wouldn't really like if we, we, we try to get you. But does it really? Is it really that important? Um, yeah, what you want to do is, you see on the left hand side there's that red square with, ah, the, with the white dot. Balance. So if you now put mm -hmm. the throttle up to say that, what you'll see is as the train accelerates, mm -hmm. it's moving. Yep. Yeah. Now that's giving you the, the motion from the train. Mm -hmm. So as you go around corners, you'll see it moving around. Mm -hmm. If you if that white dot moves too far out, yep. then you can start losing, you get score penalties. Right. Yeah. So that gives you a, a rough idea, essentially, mm -hmm. for uh, what you can do. Watch your speed, you're about to yep. 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 It takes practice. I always ignore the score, that's it. Unless I get a really good one, and then it was the plan. that was the plan all along. Hmm. So, um, regarding um, brakes, is that what happens usually? So, you, as you evolve, obviously, if you're, for example, driving a car, it's pretty straightforward. You press um, uh, your brakes whenever you are getting too fast. But is it is it the, the process is mechanics is it quite similar in trains as well or is so it so train brakes are air brakes and instead of whereas on a um, on a car you're generally operating brakes on small vehicles mm -hmm. so the brakes are right next to you mm -hmm. what you're doing here is you're operating the brakes across um, in your train and it's quite a long mm -hmm. distance and so there's air pipes that control the flow and what happens is that when you operate it the brakes need mm -hmm. you control air going yeah. in and out of the pipe which causes the brakes to apply. So there's a bit of a lag, so you apply the brake and it might take a moment for the brakes to start doing them. Um, and they generally apply in notches as well, so it's not like you just completely yeah. variably like you're in the car, you go like this much brake, mm -hmm. like this much brake. Mm -hmm. Now this train also has something uh, called electric brake, um, which mm -hmm. is where it will um, use the traction motors in the mm -hmm. in reverse um, and generate power. Um, um, but in doing so, that causes resistance on the wheels and slows them down, which is a bit more controllable. We can't stop the brake. So, yeah, it's, it's quite complicated. It's 
especially for people who have never really tried, never even heard of um, uh, train simulator, the way we're doing, what we're doing here, we're just basically recreating trains in a, as in the best details as possible. This is a build, I would say, it's a bit of a speed of the speed should try and always stay below that mm -hmm. speed. Mm -hmm. That's a very fast train, isn't it? It's, um, yeah. yeah, this train goes up to 200 Well, I don't think we do 300 km an hour on this job. So we're going um, from Command to Frankfurt, which is, so the, well, the first part of this route was the Frankfurt to Basel. Which includes um, check apparently the game audio is grounding us out. Dial that back. And uh, that should be good. Right. Hopefully that's better now, folks. Um, that's it. Mm -hmm. it's good it's good order. Um, turn the throttle off. I'm finding that. Um, Doing it with your mouse, of course, is quite un uncomfortable, but as a new person, you definitely want to go with the mouse because just memorizing all the different um, keys is, is just not easy, but I guess the most basic ones are um, obviously throttle, brakes, and you can start from there. That's already a good start, so the rest you can move around with the mouse or uh, click the thing that you need to click. Um, uh, especially, you will see this in TSW, it's a, it's a slightly more straightforward process due to the fact that the game is a bit more different. Are there any questions for me? There's nothing coming in at the moment. If you've got any questions for Dimitri about what he's done in his past lives and <laughs> what uh, what uh, what his interests are, then fire away, folks. I'll afford your questions on. Does Dimitri count as new content? Uh, <laughs> no, Dimitri <laughs> is not content in the game. Eventually, maybe. Alex Techie says, is this your first um, community manager role? Um, no, no, no. It's not my first one, but um, I would say this is the biggest company so far that I've worked at. So I previously worked... Um, I think some people will recognize the um, the company I work for, uh, the game, uh, or the brand I worked for uh, previously. It's a, it's a medieval setting um, strategy game called Stronghold. Uh, I think quite a few people will know about this, and especially those from Germany. Um, if you are in Russia as well, because uh, that's where it is quite popular. And um, yeah, so I worked there and I also worked in another medieval game, uh, not medieval game, but a game with a medieval setting. And um, it was a smaller, like a startup project. But this certainly isn't my first community manager position, but this one is probably the one with the most responsibility. So most of the things that I've done before were a sort of um, the same um, direction but on a smaller scale so it wasn't as well, which stronghold games all, all of them so I worked for the company that worked on uh, basically all stronghold games it's called Firefly Studios but um, I, I'm not here to do any um, excessive advertising here I'm just uh, <laughs> letting you know where, where I were before so uh, as you can imagine you know switching from that in the trains is a bit different but um, outside of the community manager role, I worked as a marketing executive for um, a mobile games developer um, quite recently, so it was this year. Um, but I didn't particularly like it because um, it was just, how to say to you, um, mobile games are very driven, are very much driven by your reaction. So everything is in the, in the mobile games is designed to see how you react to different things in a game and try to use that to sell uh, more games to you, let's put it this way. Which I do not particularly fancy, because here in train simulators we are um, talking about... Would you normally um, try to break a little bit on these turns? If the speed limit doesn't tell you to try to slow down, then you wouldn't normally slow down. Okay, so it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I think I'd worth... Uh, on the, okay, never mind. Um, yeah, so mobile games is, are a, a very different beast from um, your PC, uh, regular PC games. Uh, in fact, it's it's completely different market, and um, it's completely different training that you have to have in order to properly work there. It's uh, it, it's completely different. Um, there you don't have any almost uh, any traditional, um, let's say, community management, um, marketing. Um, um, 
let's say, tasks uh, that you do in standalone games, uh, they're completely different in mobile. And uh, while it's it's nice, but again, it's all tailored to so that you will, so that you 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 play as much as possible. So they learn everything about how uh, the behavior in game. So telemetry shows you absolutely everything from, especially the most important thing is obviously retention. Um, so the, uh, you have to play a lot. Um, and they want you to play a lot, and then they will try to sell you things. So here with train sim, it's, a, it's like it's a, it's it's not just it, it's a completely different story. It's almost like it's not a different industry. Um, you have a hobby, which is not even a hobby, a real life hobby, which is trains and everything associated with it. And what we're doing here was just uh, trying to recreate these experiences in in in, in game. Uh, you, well, not really in game, but we're using game engines to recreate the, those experiences so that you can experience them while not actually having to, tr to drive those trains. So um, I think it's, it's a completely different story, but um, I like it. I like, I like it a lot. And the main reason I would say I like it is because, I don't know, I guess as I got a little bit older, I started moving um, away from um, your daily, you know, Nintendo, Super Mario, Pokemon type of things like I don't play WoW anymore, I don't play League of Legends anymore, uh, but I do prefer this. This is something that I found absolutely fascinating right now and uh, I feel like it's like a step in the future, a step, ne next step um, for, uh, for me. Um, but yes, that's a pretty long answer to a question how you uh, previously worked as a community manager. Um, so yes, I have, and uh, but as I said, it's, it was a slightly different scale. Like, you, got going well? you got 160 limit coming yep. up, and that's dropping to a 90. Essentially, we've got a, we have got a curve coming up. So um, if you get yourself down to 160 mm -hmm. and then follow it down to 90, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm. it will speed back up again. I much suppose it should curve. break quite um, rapidly here. Yeah, so. Uh, Ferromero, I'm staying here with Dimitri, who is the new community manager for um, Dovetail. Yep. Trains. Yeah, uh, on trains. Yes. Okay. Um, what, what else have we got? Um, is it cold? No, it's fine. Oh, it's boiling in here. I would yeah, say. Yeah, it's quite warm. We've got these big LED lamps next yeah. to us. Um, we've just we've just moved to this office, so um, it's a quite a quite a quite a big difference uh, from more what breaking. it was. More breaking. More breaking. Okay. You're almost done. Roll up a little bit, yeah, something like that. Is it's it curve? Curve. Oh, you mean okay, the turn. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly tight turn, mm -hmm. so they slow you right down yep. for it, and then you can speed back up again. See the two hundred coming up. Yep, they can speed up again. Yeah, the main I think uh, um, outtake from speed limits, which I'm not following very well right now. Actually, I'm finding it quite difficult to. Um, stream and uh, play train simulator at the same time. I thought it would be a little bit easier, um, but it's quite tricky, quite a tricky process. Okay, we can speed up quite freely, I think. Right now. You can go up to 140 mm -hmm. and then um, probably get there before you get to 290. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we have a definitely got a better streaming closet. In fact, um, we've got uh, we're only using a bit of it. There's a whole other bit of the room behind yeah. us, so uh, there's definitely a lot of potential for expanding and uh, looking at other types of streams as well. Maybe getting a couch and having a, a chat with a devs type stream or something. Yes, if, if you see, I'm that I am driving like like a complete. Uh, uh, Noob Lord, please, please, please do not uh, 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 get frustrated about this because I'm frustrated enough myself. So, um, where am I from? I'm from Estonia, so it's a um, country. Have you ever heard of Estonia? Have you? Yeah. Have you? Not, not like. But how do you know where is it located? It's just south of Finland, isn't it? It's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's that's better than 99.9 percent .9 of people. No, maybe not, but 90 at least for sure. Depends on where where in England you're asking. If you're asking in the south, it's probably people will be more aware. So if you ask in Scotland, they will know for sure. If you ask in the north, 
No one knows, absolutely. <laughs> has no clue where, where they're located. No, I used to um, play Flight Simulator a lot, mm. and a friend of mine, um, his partner was Finnish, mm. so we used to fly a lot in and around the whole area, mm -hmm. in that area there. Yes, it's Estonia, but um, I, yes, as you co could have imagined, I speak Russian, so I'm originally, uh, I'm originally from Estonia, but uh, there's a, the Estonia is such a weird country that you basically have 75% uh, of population are Estonians and the rest are Russians. That's, um, they, they, they've been there since basically Soviet uh, times, so um, we're basically still there. Um, yeah, so you can. You're either a Russian, you're you're kind of Estonian by passport. So your passport, you're, you're still your nationality is Estonian, but your ethnicity might be different. So um, I I speak both languages really. So we have to. <coughs> Matt only knows countries by the trains they use. You're probably right there, big being kid actually. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone else is from Estonia, let, let us know. I, I don't think there's too many people because Estonia is such a small country, it's only about 1.3 million people. So, I mean, that's that's smaller than Kent, the, where we are located. Traka says he knows Russian. <coughs> Do you? So he says. Yeah, so it's a, it's a nice place. I like it there. But I've been in the UK for a long time now, and it's my ninth year. It's good. It's very good. Uh, one thing I'm concerned about is that I will never get rid of the accent, but uh, I think I've only seen one person. Uh, I think, well, I guess I'm not going to like this. Is there anyone in the stream who is completely new? Who, has, who is watching from... Steam page and never heard about Train Simulator before because if you are please let us know and we will we will let you know what what are we doing basically we're playing a game called Train Simulator which is a simulator of trains in as much detail as possible and um, there are two versions of it right now um, a Train Simulator which is a base game and it comes with a multitude of um, DLCs that are um, uh, developed both by us ourselves and also by um, third-party developers and there is a, a newer next-gen product which is TSW um, this is the game that um, only has been, was released about a bit less than two years ago so it was beginning of 2017 um, and these are two our main products and uh, we have a, a publisher weekend which means that all of our DLCs and games are on sale right now and um, Steam got uh, this favor to us, uh, they put us on this sale, so um, that's why we are doing this. Mm. It's not a sim, don't try to play sims. Of course it's not a sim, what is it then? I've been to Tallinn a couple of times. Tallinn is an absolutely beautiful and amazing place, I love it. That's where I was born and um, you should see a couple of photos from there. It's, it's very interesting the way it's built. Um, it has a very interesting mix of um, German, Baltic, and Swedish and Russian architecture, um, be because that's basically all the uh, all the nations that have ever conquered it or uh, had uh, control over it. So yeah. Uh, Chris Rogers, is it true the Trans Pennine is on console? Yes, it is indeed. It's on both Xbox One and PlayStation Four. No, this week. Sorry, say again. Uh, the Trans Pennine on, uh, on uh, console. Yes, it yeah, came it out this week. So, this um, week, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We, we have received quite good um, um, reviews of it, so people seem to be enjoying it quite well. We should be going to two hundred here, aren't we? Or is it Are you a console player yourself, or do you stick to the PC? Um, I I have a PS4, and I used to play it a lot. Um, about four or five years ago I started uh, playing on consoles, but in the past year or two when I got um, a good PC, I've always been a PC guy, but when I got a really nice PC I 
I just stopped playing consoles. Um, I feel they're quite limited. I think they're very good if you're playing games like FIFA and if you're ga playing games like actually Train Simulator. Uh, I think it's perfect for consoles due to the fact that Train Simulator is just such a TSW is just such a relaxing game where you um, can just chill. You know, you can um, win down after a long day, and I, I think consoles are perfect um, for it. Um, so, um, but lately in the past year, I almost haven't used uh, the uh, the console, the PS4. Um, maybe one day, especially when the uh, PS5 comes um, or the next Xbox, uh, which I think will be pretty soon, hopefully, uh, I will cer certainly give it a try. But at this point, I just don't feel like uh, you know. I don't know. I, 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 yeah, not right now. Not right now. <laughs> Uh, 82 C he says he's done 30 uh, uh, round trips between Manchester and Leeds on Northern Trans Pennine. Hats off to everyone at DTG. Thank you very much. Thank you. Much appreciated. Glad you're enjoying it. Yes, it's a new route and um, we've been enjoying it quite a lot. And um, it's, I think it, it has a certain element of um, camera. Um, has a certain element of, um, you know, you just feel the atmosphere when you're playing it. You, you, you actually do feel like you are in England back in the day, um, in the north of England specifically, um, which I find quite fascinating. Uh, I mean, you know, trying to recreate these things is, not, is obviously not easy, um, but uh, we do, we try to recreate uh, as much detail as possible, especially when it comes to train, because um, uh, to trains and we have different classes of trains we have pretty much in especially for this game that we're playing right now how like I, I would say that you can pretty much find any train that you want after 10 years you can find in this game pretty much any train that well, you, there's that, a lot that aren't in there from around the world but certainly a lot of the main ones from um, something from Europe and the UK and America certainly quite a lot of there yeah, yeah. It's amazing how many trains there are. You don't realise how many there are until mm -hmm. you start looking into it and how many sub-minor variations there are. Mm -hmm. So how we do? We've got 26 kilometres to Frankfurt. It's We're still cruising along at 200 kilometres now. We're going pretty well. Besides a couple of speeding one, we have minus 33 points, so... Yes, this game is definitely awesome and super chill. That's, that's the best way to describe it. But, um, you know, the main really point why it even exists is because people just love trains and some eventually someone would have to recreate those, uh, those trains uh, in games and that just happened to be us. And um, we are extremely happy about it. There's a lot of third parties that we work, in, uh, work yeah. with as well that, uh, um, that do, uh, do some really cool content as well. And you can pick some of that up, I think some of that's on the sale on Steam as yeah. well. So, uh, yeah, there's tons to look for. Yeah. So, question out to you lot then, you or a lot. Um, favorite train that's in TS 2019? Go! <laughs> What's your favorite train so far? Um, well, I don't really know too many of them, but among the most recent ones is probably the Steam one. Because of the, I, I always keep failing with, the, with, with, with spelling uh, out, but um, uh, Pannier Pack. Oh, the Pannier Tank engine. Pannier Tank. Yeah. yeah, that's from the uh, from Victory Works. Yeah, yeah, yeah Absolutely exactly. Absolutely beautiful. I know, I couldn't even move from it. Maybe ten miles per hour. That's the best I can do. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give you a lesson on driving steam engines. <laughs> yes, certainly, certainly. And everybody out there who saw my first tutorial on YouTube about steam engines, shush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you usually on your own stream? Do you or pretty much every time play different, um, mm, different uh, routes, different, or you? How do you usually structure? So what my routes? the way that I um, the way I, when I play on my own um, streams, I like to download as from content from workshops, see what other people yeah. are creating in the game, and uh, I like to try and try out different scenarios and mm -hmm. some sort of fantastic content people upload to Steam Workshop. Mm. So yes, I like to, uh, to have a look at that. Yeah. Matt will teach you how to melt the boiler. Shush! <laughs> I said shush! <laughs> I get, uh, I'm assuming this is some kind of like inside joke, yeah? I forgot to put water in the engine and blew it up. <laughs> uh, wow, well, this is... <laughs> I, I, I honestly, steam engines are, are so... Uh, they're, they're just a next level, but uh, running them in this game is, is 
is very difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. There's no real theme coming out of the um, out of the answers. Actually, it's quite interesting. There's lots, huge amount of variety. But I guess what it does is it underscores just how broad the in the the, in, the whole hobby is. The whole mm. Um, mm. enthusiasm sure. of trains. You know, you do, it's. I guess that's why it's such a broad. There needs to be such a broad catalogue as well, mm. because. People, if you're interested in American passenger or in, mm -hmm. in old German steam freight trains and all of this different stuff, um, mm -hmm. so it's really interesting seeing just how much variety um, you guys are coming back with in your uh, responses. Very good. Yeah, I think it only also depends quite a lot on what type of gamer you generally are. So if you're more, um, let's say just a general gamer, you play many games, you might be skewed towards something more exotic like steam trains. And if you are a real fan of trains, maybe real uh, train games is the only thing that you ever play at all, um, you maybe have a very specific focus on one particular type of um, um, uh, local, or maybe a particular era, or more maybe a particular... Um, oh, I don't know, I'm too fast. Um, or maybe, uh, yeah, so... Uh, it really depends on what type of gamer you are. I myself, being um, fairly new to trains, but um, still being um, a person who likes machines, let's say, because I'm a big fan of all kinds of cars, and um, really, yeah, that, that's how I, who I am. I, I definitely fancy quite a lot the uh, uh, steam trains, but unfortunately, I cannot play them very well. But um, fast ones, yeah. Once you once you learn to play them, you will grow to love them. Oh, they are, they're, yeah. they're a big challenge to learn to drive correctly, and there's a lot going on because, of course, in real steam engine, there's two people driving that train. You've got a fireman, mm. you've got a driver, yeah. and in the game, if you certainly if you turn off the automatic fireman, you're doing them both, which yeah. is achievable in the game, but it does give you quite a lot to concentrate yeah. on. Oh, we're dropping down to the speed limit, 160. Yes. Excellent. Oh, we got a little bit too slow, but it's better. Crucible One says the 395 is his favourite. Like how it switches from being high-speed train to a commuter train halfway through, and a different power mode. I have to say, I pretty much think the 395 is one of my favourite trains in the game. It's the whole London Faversham experience with the 395 mm. is so interesting because you've got that 140 kilometer um, miles an hour section uh, from St Pancras to Ebbsfleet, and then you do the power change to third rail, and then it's a commuter train. Mm. And you're starting and stopping, at no, and it, it, that's a really nice um, change of pace mm. um, that I really, really like. And it's just such an interesting, it's a beautiful train, mm -hmm. uh, and it's such an interesting one to drive as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, if again, I will keep repeating this, but if you are new, um, we are uh, developers of um, train simulators. We are Dovetail Games, we're based in the um, south of England, and um, what we do, we develop um, train simulators. We have two at, the, uh, at this point. Um, one is the Train Simulator 2019, which is we are playing right now. Um, it's uh, initially it was released in 2009. Yeah, uh, 2009. Yes. So it's updated every year uh, with the um, basically we repackage uh, it and release it again with different content every year. Um, the second product is uh, Train Sim World, which is uh, uh, our next generation uh, product, uh, Train si Simulator. It's, it was released uh, a, le a bit less than two years ago. And um, it's a um, slightly different game uh, in a sense that it's uh, on a much newer engine. There's quite a, f uh, quite, quite a few new things that you can do in there, such as walk outside of your train, walk around. Um, and we will be playing it tomorrow. So if you want to see me failing at train simulators again, please feel free to join us at 4 p.m. tomorrow, uh, UK time. And um, I'm a little bit better, uh, a little bit better and train sim world, but um, you will see, you will see. It's slightly better. I, I it'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be good. It'll be good. Right, what else have we got in the way of comments and questions here? Uh, will there ever be freight for TSW? There is already freight for TSW. The Sandpatch trade on the PC and Northeast Corridor, New York, both have freight. I can't remember what. Uh, Rosig Nord has lots of freight on it. Um, I think that might be it that mm -hmm. I can think of for the time being. Um, so, yeah, there is freight, and there will almost certainly be more coming in the fullness of time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Personally, freight is one of my favourite things to do in trains. I haven't got them. 
pesky passengers and money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can play. Um, uh, uh, you, we have in trains in world. We have um, CSX. That's the one we have as a yep. free train. Yeah, we can go a little bit faster. Oh yes, and the class sixty six on Great Western. Well remembered, Alex. Glad someone here remembers what 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 we've, what's out there because I can't. <coughs> Any questions? Tell us, guys, where you're from. Where are you watching from? We're quite keen to know That's what is shout. um what Where is about our main are you? audience. Uh, TSW editor news. Uh, there's a few people have been asking about that. We don't have any news on that at the moment. Um, um, it's there's, there's development ongoing, so. Uh, um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't be worried about it, but yes, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it, it's it's coming on. It's doing well actually. Um, it progressed a bit over the Christmas break, so uh, yeah, think we'll keep an eye on things, and uh, there'll be exciting news at some point. I, I, uh, we did get a lot of really good feedback from everybody about the um, scenario tools stream that I did um, before Christmas. Mm. So if um, if you want to see something else, just let us know what your favorite topics are not in the chat because that information will get lost send it over via the official channels and um and we'll see if we can come up with some more of these uh, more of these a bit more technical streams mm -hmm. um because uh, certainly everyone everyone that i spoke to said they loved it and they wanted to see more so i slow down a bit early that's fine you're actually uh, four kilometers away so it's not, not going to take long but portugal netherlands We've got New Zealand, and quite a lot of people from Norway, US. California, Bristol, Lincolnshire, Antarctica, <laughs> Antarctica. Wow. Alex Tiki says you get all these great places, and then someone says Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> Feels a bit harsh, but Pittsburgh, <laughs> Pennsylvania, in the United States. I didn't notice the 50 limit. How did I? It may have been signal based limit because the ah. signals on this route can give you additional ah, speed limits. That's, that's so at some point I'll have to show you how that all that right, works. Right. <laughs> okay, we're getting into a bit weird answers to the question where you come from, but I guess this is normal for streams. Oh, absolutely. Someone says they come from Mars. Excellent. Well, welcome to you, Marsh, Mr. Martian. Um, Exeter, Texas. Philadelphia. I'm assuming we we're approaching now. Yeah, oh yes. You'll be making the turn into, but you'll turn around this corner and then it's a straight shot into mm. Frankfurt now. Mm. So do, are there in the UK, um, let's say, sim um, trains of similar speed um, like IC3? Because I've, 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 I think I've seen a couple. So the fastest trains in the UK would be the 395 we talked about earlier on, mm -hmm. which goes up to 140 miles an hour. Um, and then you've got the uh, Eurostars, which travel internationally yeah. over to mainland Europe. Ah. And they go up to 300 kilometers an hour, which is similar to what mm -hmm. uh, this train can do. Mm -hmm. And the, Go on, sorry. Yeah, if you are new uh, watching stream and don't really know what uh, what is it that you are uh, uh, watching, let us know in the comments because we will explain to you. Um, uh, we can imagine that there will be new people uh, coming from Steam Store main page. Um, we're hoping that there will be a lot of new people we can see because um, we want to um, meet as m as many people today as possible. Um, I am. Uh, this is a. Uh, I think I, did, uh, I think we should have actually made an introduction for you as well. Matt, Possibly you? most people. I'm I'm infamous. My reputation precedes me. Everyone looks at me and goes, "Oh, good, yeah. it's him." <laughs> they, well, I think everyone was more interested in seeing you today, as they as they should be. Um, yes. You uh, you'll be uh, they'll they'll be also be seeing you on the Dovetail forums on the Steam yes. forums as well. Just wanted so. to say that I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm trying to. Forums are a bit tricky because 
there are lots of very knowledgeable people in there so i have to be very careful when navigating between topics so if you see me my nickname there is dtg dmitri so um, that's pretty straightforward but um i i'm, I'm slow in getting there um we are al always getting advice from uh, more senior people here at dovetail before we actually before i actually answer so um and just to make sure that my responses uh, make sense and um, I, I, as i'm still learning with your help guys um learning about both of our games we're almost there aren't we yeah 40 limit mm -hmm. oh so there was a okay sign yeah the sign come yeah. up yeah uh what else have we got here um so there's a bunch of people asking about ts hud on tsw there's no i've not got any announcements or anything to make about that stuff um we hear we have heard your feedback on the hud so uh, um that's about as much as i can say at the moment um gary dino will there be a joystick interface with the editor in TSW. So there's no joysticks interfaces anywhere in TSW yet other than in the game controllers. Um, whether that changes in the future uh, is too early to tell at the moment. We need to make sure we... All you've got to do is not hit the buffers. Uh, oh, that's, that's, that's the thing. This train stops pretty quickly, to be fair, so... Uh, Klaus, earlier on you were talking about uh, um, seeing more track for the 395 to run on. I, I, I'm like I said, I love driving the 395, so I would never turn down a bit more route, maybe down to Dover or uh, um, more of the southeastern network. This is the area, this is this area though, cause, uh, so I'm, I'm always going to be a, a fan of extending the network down this area. I think actually Danny um, has updated, um, he's got a linked route um, which he's um, uploaded, um, which I think joins Chatham Mainline and some other stuff together and he's ex started yeah. extending the track down towards that way so if you look on workshop you'll uh, you actually see um the stuff that he's going on there so there's, there is some more stuff to look at and it's currently in progress that uh, danny's working on as a home project there okay it wasn't hard no it wasn't it's pretty straightforward so um, it's a pretty nice train you don't really have too many functions to well probably you do but at least to run it as a normal person who isn't a completely um, new. Well, he'll be a train geek before long. <laughs> he will be a I train will, geek will, before long. I he will, will not take. I play time. every evening, <laughs> two three hours every evening. Dank London says, "Can you give a hint as to what the first steam loco for TSW will be? It will be a steam engine." Right, moving on. Um, mm -hmm. What else have we got? I was kind of hoping I could segue rapidly into something else, but uh... <sighs> <laughs> yes, please, yes, please. I want to get closest to the box. Thank you. <laughs> but in the in the in the perfect world, you have to be right next to him, right? Um, it depends. Mm -hmm. um, there's usually a board on the platform, which is where you're intended to stop at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But quite often it is quite close to the buffers, yeah. Okay, what do we have next? We have PDL. Right, I'm just going to switch it over to that. There you go. So we can switch over to the next scenario. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rayan Alexis says it was easy because you didn't use safety systems. You know what? He's not going to be allowed to not have safety systems on for all the streams. He would that he will be teaching Matt to use safety systems, and then we can have some real fun. <laughs> if the first steam engine for TSW was a leader, how how upset would that make some people? Jeez, <laughs> the leader is a steam engine that looks like a diesel. Okay. <laughs> is it um, roughly what area is it from? Uh, it's from the southern region, from, oh, someone can correct me on this, but I think 60s, 70s. Um, it's, uh, it was a bizarre thing that didn't last very long. <laughs> Right, let me have a quick look here. We found the wrong route. That's why you can't find it. Okay. Uh, that one. Oh. Oh, okay. And then we want 
be that one. Yep. Go for it. It's better. We're, we're back. back we're back. Folks. It took only two minutes. Only two minutes. Oh yeah, Mike is still on, but we were aware of this. That's fine. We don't hide anything from you guys. Yep. <clears throat> Stop complaining the microphone is on 4072. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we had um, um, our screenshot competition, uh, which ended on our forums today for both TS19 and TSW. So congratulations to both winners. I think for TS9, TSW it was Captain Slow and for TS19 it was Railfan722. When well Hulku, done to the winners. Yes, this is his uh, his screenshot. Um, it's quite so how do people take part in the screenshot competition? Um, yeah, so uh, as we mentioned, we have um, our own forums. So outside of Steam forums, we have our own forums. At, uh, you can just find them by Googling um, Dovetail Games forums. Um, we have uh, multiple sections. Um, one is for our uh, Train Simulator 19 game, one for t t Train Sim World, which we will be, will be playing on the stream tomorrow. Uh, there is a section for our fishing games, um, which is a separate product, but um, we are still working in the same building, pretty much. Um, so there are these forums. On the t t Train Sim World, there are also, it also goes into other three sections, one PC, one Xbox One, and the third one is PlayStation 4. So in order to take part in the screenshot competition, what you have to do is you have to go to um, either a PC uh, section for um, TSW or a PC section for TS19. You will find um, um, a thread called, what was it called? Something like tra Train Simulator Screenshot Competition. It's pretty straightforward. It's not very difficult to find. And the way it works is that Every Wednesday, we announce the competition by opening a thread. We have a certain rules that you have to follow to take part. Um, uh, as soon as this thread is live, you have to you you have um, five days to take a, a screenshot of the game that you want to submit. So um, either TS19 or TSW, you submit your screenshot. Five days uh, later, uh, I, I will close uh, this thread. And then everyone, because on the forums, we have such a nice forums, we have an option to upvote uh, posts. And uh, what you can do is, um, as soon as the, I close the thread, I will post about this on our social media. So you will find out about it, which is uh, actually a good reason to follow it. Um, you go there and um, basically you can vote for your favorite screenshot. So um, main rules uh, obviously are those that you do not upvote before um, the uh, thread is actually closed. Um, but yes, so it, it, it goes weekly. We will see how we're gonna do it in the future. Maybe we will include some uh, more um, you know, contests, like video contests, something we're thinking about. So, is Wait, there anything? No, the brakes on for a minute. Okay. The doors are open. Uh, <laughs> and I also press the emergency. I think that That's fine. does it matter. That doesn't matter. Okay. Not if you're stationary. Mm, okay. Because if I if I'm moving and and. Uh, 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 press the emergency brakes, then the pressure of, uh, yeah, drops. Yeah, you have to wait until the train stops, then you can release them. Mm -hmm. uh, Trucker says, where can you submit your screenshots on the web? So if you go to the forums, uh, Dan Demand's actually just posted yep. some links up there. If you go onto the forums, you can submit your um, your screenshots um, via the forum posts there. Um, and then what happens is people, as um, Dimitri was saying, they can then view the screenshots and they can upvote their favorite ones that, um, that they like. So even if you're not, if you're, so if you're great at taking screenshots, then go ahead and share some screenshots. Um, if you're, even if you're not great at screenshots, okay. if you're not confident taking screenshots, go in and make votes for your favorite screenshots because you'll see them on the loading yes, screens. Yes, that's the price. You see them on your loading screens, which is just... Press the... Uh Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll have to. What is the key that? Q. Q. Okay. Okay, we can start moving. Up vote. You know, it's like like on Facebook. It's thumbs <laughs> up. You know, it's that kind of thing. Yeah. Are we moving? Yep, we are. Perfect. This is a very quite a bit different train from what we've been playing um, for the past forty-five minutes. Do you have so anything where is, to say about it? So where is the previous train was a an express high speed train. 
this one is a commuter train. So mm -hmm. the route that we're on at the moment, the Portsmouth Direct Line, features the line out of London Waterloo um, down to Portsmouth mm -hmm. uh, via Woking. And uh, we're actually starting at Hampton Court and we're going to be heading onto the main line. So the main line is in front of us, we're on a branch at the moment. Uh, we then turn left and swing left onto the main line and then we'll be continuing uh, actually driving straight into, into London Waterloo. Look, I'm getting better. I now see the signs and notice them, which is pretty good. Has Dimitri got a TSW cap, says H22 Steam. Um, yes, but um, we will have them tomorrow. Oh, maybe not. I don't think I have access to a place where they are located. But um, we will get to merge. Don't worry about this. Eventually we will. But yes, we have a, a bunch of caps and other things that we will eventually want to give out. Mm. Right. Uh, someone is asking me in Russian. I'm not sure if I want to answer this. I wouldn't mind, really. They're asking me what is my favorite um, route in the simulator. I would say, hmm, maybe. Well, I, I will. I will go with TSW ones because I'm uh, not very familiar with TS19. But my favorite one is. Um, we'll stop there. Brakes on. Lots of brakes. Oh, emergency. Okay. Emergency. No, 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 no. Please, please, please stop. Everyone in the forums and Discord will be talking about this because I'm about to miss. The oh, they won't station. let you forget it. Trust me. Uh, you miss one station, that's it. It becomes no, a thing. No, oh, you no, haven't no, missed no, it yet. No, Only no. the first characters are. See, all the characters are yeah. still in the platform. This is fine, folks. This is just fine. It's not a problem. <laughs> Everyone settled out. This is just fine. All right, press the T key. Yeah. Doors are open. All passengers are delighted with the service today. <laughs> it's good. It's good. <coughs> Transport Guide says, do you prefer Transition World, Long Island Railroad or Pennines? I guess that probably depends on what you're used to, because if uh, I, I like them both. Um, I, I live on the fence. I'm renowned for that. Um, but I like them both because they give such different experiences. Long Island is all about that high capacity, the, the, the commuter service where you're drive, stop, drive, stop, drive, stop. Whereas Trans Pennine is managing the train up the hill, managing the train down the hill and stopping occasionally. Plus it's all the technology. So it is really, they're quite different. So it's, it's, I certainly don't prefer one over the other. They're both excellent. I would say that, obviously. <laughs> Just the passengers have all, all have injuries, uh, injuries after that hard break. I never saw any hard breaking. It, was, it looked fine to me. <laughs> Just a little bit of emergency breaking. Are you good to go now? It's fine. Mm -hmm. Off. Yes. There we go. Yes, I was uh, I was speaking about my favorite route in CSW. It's probably the West Somerset. I just really like the um, the scenery in there. I think um, it's in some ways romantic. I guess the the this train the way it was um, refurbished, let's say recreated. I I kind of like it. Um, and it's not very fast, so it's it's it has a good balance, which I don't have right now. Okay, thirty. It is actually a good, it, the West Somerset Railway it exists on this route, uh, in this game as well, you can okay. get West Somerset Railway for this. And it is actually a good place to start because it is, the trains run at a sedate pace, so you can, you're not going to suddenly find yourself flying into a station at 70 miles an hour thinking, well I'm never yeah. going to stop there am I, because that's never happened to me. You have to pay attention. Um, I will repeat what I said before, if you are new to the stream and you don't know what's going on, if you found us through the Steam's main page, we are um, Dovetail Games, we are the developers of um, Train Simulators. Um, this game we're playing right now is called Train Simulator 2019. Um, it originally came out in 2009 and um, it, uh, the way it works is that there's a base game and there's a bunch of DLCs that uh, initially were developed by us. And we can go quite fast, isn't it? 85, was it? Or was six it months the speed and it goes up. Ah, yeah. But okay. remember, you're also stopping in 1.3 miles. Right, okay. Do you know, can you see where that is? Where the distance to your next station is? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, 1.3 so miles, 1.27 now yeah. is your destination. So that'll be, that'll be where we next miss a station. I mean, stop at the station. Yeah. I could speed up a little bit, but then it's Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, you've got plenty. These trains, one of the, uh, the defining factors of these commuter trains is they speed up quite rapidly and they slow down quite yeah. rapidly. Yeah. 
Yeah, so um, yeah, so we have Train Simulator 19, which is which we're playing right now. We are updated every year with new content. And um, the content is developed by both by us and, but mostly these days by third-party developers, which are absolutely fantastic. Many of them make such an uh, such detailed DLCs. It's just such a pleasure to watch and play. Um, and we have our sort of a next-gen product, which is called Train Sim World, which is maybe a bit more suitable for those who like slightly better graphics, modern graphics, um, better, I would say, controls in some way. There's a bit more, um, um, it, there's a, there are tutorials in there. Um, yeah, so overall, it's um, more modern, for especially for those who are very new. Actually, since you mentioned tutorials, it's worth bringing up that um, inside, um, inside Train Sim 2019, we have a thing, we'll stop in here, remember. Um, yes. We have a feature in here called uh, Train Sim Academy. Um, so for, uh, and it's quite an extensive area, it's a custom map, there's about 50, 60 tutorials in there, and the idea is that this, that's where you're stopping, it's just directly in front of you, um, this um, facility will teach you all about how to drive, how to stop, how to drive different types of train, there is even tutorials in there about steam engines, so mm -hmm. there's actually, there's an awful lot, if, you, if you've never tried train simulator before, then go and hit up the TS Academy, uh, Train Sim Academy um, in TS 2019 and run through all those chores. They're not very long, they're only short, sort of five, ten minutes each, um, and um, you'll learn. You'll learn an awful lot. That wasn't too bad. That's an excellent stop. Any stop you can walk away from. <laughs> Without jumping in the bushes like on the first stop. <laughs> <coughs> so many questions. I'd like to get something like an academy into uh, Train Sim World. At the moment, the way Train Sim World is um, is coming is developing is that the uh, when there's a, there's a new um, locomotives, they have tutorials specifically for those locomotives. Mm -hmm. So uh, and we can do a lot more with tutorials in TSW. So one thing I would like to mention is that it's not just the game itself the, as a product that we develop. When we release a new route and a new local loco locomotive, for example. We also release with it a bunch of very detailed tutorials. So it's almost like you are collecting, you know, toys or um, to toy trains. So you 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 get uh, a lot more for your money than just um, the, the the graphics is itself. So um, we try to create experience and not just game uh, itself. So um, that's one important thing to know. Um, we can go. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Our station we, is in one mile to are, Berylands. Are we... Uh, how are we doing on our timetable? I'm assuming we're a bit late. Well, yeah, you're only burning about a minute behind so far. Okay. So, is, uh, so Jacob, you've asked a few times now, but I, I, I keep forgetting to answer you. Is CSX Heavy Hall route ever coming to console on Train Sim World? There's nothing been announced on that one. Um, so uh, that, 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 that situation hasn't changed. Um, so... Uh, yeah, if that situation does change, then make sure you're signed up to our Facebook and the forums, yes. all of the and, and get, make sure you've logged into your Dovetail Live account because that way, that's where you're going to see all the day, the latest news is going to come is be announced there yes. first. Mm -hmm. The type of content we have around socials are obviously the announcement of various products that we release, but and, and discounts if uh, if they come. But we also um, we have um, a person who is responsible for um, writing articles about. Um, various um, trains, routes that uh, are we are we are developing. We have developed. We're going to develop in the future. So we also try to. What's going on? You're stopping shortly. Okay. We tr I don't need emergency brakes. Um, <laughs> we also try to give um, um, a little bit of an insight, which is actually a good reason to use keyboard because I just miss rather than you know that was intentional. <laughs> it's so easy to do. Um, yeah. So we give insight into what made I uh, give uh, what. Um, why we made the decision to make this particular route. Oh, I don't want to stop right here. Just push it back to release at the brakes. Uh, there you go. Brakes are coming off. Yep. Apply some power and just gently cruise in. I'm not going to look in the chat. I'm going to look in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you get used to it. You get used to it. You work, You learn when is a good time to look away because nothing's really yeah, happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> press F. Press F, everyone. 
is say, what's the number to the left of the red line? Well, it was there, okay, above red green box. I'm not quite sure what you're referring to, Dylan. <laughs> Let's just pretend that it was a rabbit. I was, uh, I saw it on the rails, and I it wanted. was, it was absolutely. Why is it, it keeps asking to say yes, mate? Yes, mate. Uh, UK Trains and Planes, if there's an update on GW, will it be free or DLC? Again, if there's an update on something, then there'll be a news announcement letting you know about that. It's it's difficult to talk about hypothetical things in any mm -hmm. kind of sensible way. So um, and if there is an update on something or any changes, new updates, then the, the news announcement will tell you more information about that. <laughs> yes, I saw a pacer for sure. Pacer is. Dimitri wanted to saw a pacer and wanted to admire it. Absolutely. <laughs> Totally appropriate. <laughs> what route is this, Optimus Gaming? We are on the Portsmouth Direct Line. Um, with, this is the Waterloo to uh, Portsmouth version, the uh, the one that came in 2019. Yes, this is the route we're playing today. And previously we, play, we played ICE 3 to Frankfurt. And um, tomorrow we will be playing Train Sim World. So if you're watching this, you probably want to tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. UK time, 5 p.m. Um, German time and 6 p.m. Estonian time so um, yes in America it's gonna be somewhere in the morning I think about 9. Um, Thelonious, what's my favorite DLC release in 2018? I'm stuck by that one. For TS19 it's probably gonna be a steam engine. Um, the Panniers came out this year didn't yep. they so I'm probably gonna veer towards something like the Bossman games Black 5 or something along those lines just because that's such a gorgeous locomotive. But reality, if I was to go through the list, I'd go, oh, that one, and uh, oh. yeah, and that one. Oh, you didn't get it fast enough. <laughs> you only get a couple of seconds. Um, that's fine. Wait for it to stop. Um, and on Train Sim World, um, I don't know. I'm genuinely stuck on that. My favourite DLCs on Train Sim World are probably Royal Zeke, Long Island, and Northern Trans Pennine, the three newest ones. Um, I just think they're. I really enjoy playing them all the time. What routes are we going to do on the Train Sim World stream tomorrow, Len Payne Crips? We are doing, remind me, what are we doing tomorrow? Um, tomorrow, maybe we should announce tomorrow. We are definitely doing the basic GWE. Oh yes, we're going to do a high speed run on the HST on Great Western. Yes, and the um, Long Island. Oh, on the Long Island, yeah, yeah. we do a bit of Long Island. Listen, please don't be upset about me doing emergency stops. It's quite late. We've been here for a while, and I'm also a noob. It's all it's all practice, and not only that. It's, it's not only that. It, learning to play the game, and the, this is your first stream, isn't it? That's pretty much it. And sense. Um, wait, you need to stop here. Okay. Um, sure. And uh, you know, maybe stop in here. Yeah. Um, so yes, there's uh, there's a lot to take in, and. Uh, Hopefully we're answering your questions and uh Yes, um our plan is my plan is to have as many streams as possible because um this is what people um like and what I personally would like to see is myself learning from you because I think it would be a quite a good idea if I just sat there on the stream while playing. Maybe not as bad as now because I will get more be, I'll be more focused and wouldn't have to answer, you know, various um quite specific questions about our products um, but yes in the future I would love to just sit uh, with you and maybe ask a few questions as I'm playing and you would help me with this and then all the way around maybe you have a couple of questions for me um, it takes time but um, I think we'll get there we have quite a few new ideas for this year um, what time is it? okay just because we're late on the uh, on the schedule aren't we yeah mm -hmm. not worry about it don't worry about the score. Yep. Well, one of the things I because if you're playing career scenarios, it's really good to you can gauge your improvement by looking at the score if you run it and then you run it again and so forth. But don't let it dishearten you. Um, the score is really going to be penalising you for rules violations of so being late and being uh, over speeding and things. Mm. Um, but the first thing you should do is just get comfortable with the train, drive the train, 
practice stopping at the stations, and that might mean the first time you run it, you get minus a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Not saying I've ever got a score like that or more, um, but sometimes it's fine. I remember one instance um, I was streaming and I wasn't 100% paying attention. I had been a while since I'd ridden, driven dry German scenario um, and I was doing 160 kilometers <laughs> an hour and I completely missed the fact that the signal told me, beware, the next signal you need to be doing 40 kilometers an hour. So there was me, happily going along, 160 kilometers an hour, so you can imagine doing 160 kilometers an hour when you get the 40 limit and my score is just going down and down and down almost into the thousands per second so but you know what <laughs> doesn't matter it happens enjoy the game first yes and worry about score next what i would say is once you start getting better at it then start paying attention to the score and try and get that score up I know some people. Some people really don't like the score. They think it may, it gamifies something that they feel should be a, a pure simulator. And in that case, you can just ignore it. Um, but if you um, if you want, you can use the score to try and mm -hmm. um, improve and say, actually, I genuinely did better than I did the last time because I got a few extra points. Every scenario has a maximum of one thousand points. Some start you at a thousand and you'll lose points. So the idea is not to lose any. And some start you at zero and you gain points, but you can also lose them as well. So it's, um, you know, it becomes a challenge. The, one of the challenges with a route like this, actually, is that you need to learn how to stop eff effectively yep. and efficiently. Because at the moment, um, and I'm, I'm, this is not me um, saying anything bad, no. but in, in what would happen is you're coming in too slow. Yep, I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. so um, this is the, the skill. And it actually is quite tough. Because you come in and every muscle, every fiber in your body is saying, I am going too fast. I am going too fast. And you put the brakes on and you stop. And if you get it right, one brake application and you stop at the right point on the platform. And it's actually a really tough skill to learn. Um, mm -hmm. And once you, get the, uh, once you get that skill, you can really, then your scores start coming up because all of a sudden you're, you're able yep. to easily keep up with that schedule. So if you're finding you're not, then that's, the, um, that's possibly part of the reason. Matt, tell me, what would happen in real life if I was to miss my station, if I was a train driver? Uh, you would get in touch with a signaller and um, let them know what's happened. And more often than not, um, you would simply miss that station and carry on to the next one. Okay. Um, and then probably, if it's not something you've done very often, then you probably get someone, mm. your, your colleagues heartily laughing at you when you get back to the depot and your boss having some stern words. Um, if it's something that happens regularly, then there's probably a procedure for managing that mm -hmm. uh, involving training and um, other processes. But is it right that um, a train drivers in the UK, but I guess everywhere else in the world, they have to basically learn their route by heart? They have they to do. learn every single inch, really? Yeah. Um, train drivers, will um, they'll spend a lot of time with um, somebody in the cab with them initially. Um, they'll learn the route and they'll, be, they'll test on the route. And then at some point they have to, and they have, and they have to run. They just know where they are. And remember, sometimes they'll be driving the route at night as mm -hmm. well. Train yep. drivers don't can't pick and choose when yep. they're driving. So you some you have to also learn the route at night because some of the visuals you're used to during the day, like the post box down there that I use as a stopping point, mm -hmm. won't exist anymore because you can't see it. Yep. So you'll pick a different set of stopping points potentially mm -hmm. at night where lights are and so forth. So it's actually quite. Difficult. It's, it's extremely incredible. difficult. Yeah, it's, it's as, difficult. As, as hard as um, being a, an aviator, being a pilot, basically. Maybe and the, the feeling of responsibility is the same yeah. as well because um, it's all very well. You know, we're driving the, the simulator here, and um, this is cool. We're in the cab. We're driving. We could be driving a car. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's you're driving. Actually, in reality, there's 700 people behind us, yep. or 400 people yep. behind us. And their lives are in our hands, or their safety is in our hands. Certainly, so, you know, a train like this is generally more about safety. But you know, in high-speed trains, it's literally lives because yep. you, if you make a mistake, then bad things happen. So you've got that on your mind as well. You're mm -hmm. in, you're responsible for people's well-being, um, and that's you know on a big scale. So it's it's really important. You, you can't underplay just the, uh, the 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 weight that's on your shoulders as a driver, um, and the respect that you have to have for the uh, the yep. train around you. So are we getting any close to, um, what is this? Um, That's a tunnel. Like a tunnel, okay. The brackets mark the start and end mm. of tunnel. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this route is slightly better than the previous one for me. I think the IC, uh, 
I see three. Is that is that our stop? That's your stop. Yeah. Which I okay, okay. No comment. It's fine. As, as soon as I started saying how how better it is than I see three, <laughs> um, yeah. It's but practice. What I like about TSW in particular is the fact that um, you get um, icons on the screen, so you, you're a bit more aware of um, where your next stop is. But um, this has its own benefits, as you can see exactly how your route is going in the next. How, what is the distance here usually? Do you know? It's, is it the same? There isn't the distance that you can see. So the distance the actually screen. extends as you go faster. It'll ah, effectively mm, zoom out so mm, you can see further okay. ahead. Mm -hmm. um, actually, someone that um, Dylan uh, Heaton is asking about the HUD at the bottom. So let me just explain that. So there's a um, the red bit is your loco. The ones behind them are carriages that are behind you. Generally, the ones that are the bigger icons, I've got a motor in them, um, and the little ones are just straight trailing carriages. Mm -hmm. um, now. Um, because in reality, you'll find that it's not just the low coat at the front. This is this is actually a multiple unit, um, and um, so we're driving along the track. So there's a, a vertical bar there with the three signal colours: the red, yellow, green. That's telling you where a signal is. The vertical bar with the number in the yellow box, so the, the 40 mm -hmm. we're just coming up to, that is where a speed limit starts. Um, the white line underneath us actually goes up and down, so we get a rough idea of what the gradient mm -hmm. is coming up ahead. Um, there's a little orange marker coming up ahead where it says Wimbledon exit. Those are just markers on the track, so they'll be used yep. in scenarios sometimes. So it'll say go to Wimbledon exit yep. or something. Um, there was a green one that was similar to that, which is where platforms are. So those are where the stations are. Um, there's on the bottom left hand side, there's a little number. So it says one colon 64 or one colon 45. Mm -hmm. That's the gradient. So a small, so one in 39 is quite steep, mm. um, which is what we're on at the moment as we come up this yep. ramp. As that ramp, we get to the top, you'll see that flatten back out yep. again to um, um, a, a bigger and bigger, bigger number. Mm -hmm. Yes, just to remind everyone, we are um, we have a publisher weekend, meaning that this weekend we have um, uh, discounts on all of our DLCs and all of our main products. All the discounts are up to 60%, so our base games, um, TS19, uh, and all the editions of TS19, as well as TSW, they're all discounted by 40%. You can find the um, uh, exact deals just by going to our Steam page, it's very simple. If you would like to discuss the our games, uh, or if you would like just to join our community, feel free to follow us on social media, and especially go to our forums at uh, live at dovetailgames.com. Uh, um, this is where we live really and this is where you are guaranteed to um, find support not only from expert in trains but also from us the developers um, we re read forums every day um, we are always there um, yes yeah, so if you would like you can uh, go to our uh, steam page and see uh, exactly what is what product we have on sale right now but we have everything on sale um, and we're running this stream today for TS19 and to promote uh, our games tomorrow you at 4 p.m uk time you will see a stream for um, tsw so feel free to join us tomorrow and um, hope you're enjoying it so far and yep i'm about to stop at the station i'm gonna no do it properly i'm gonna do it properly yes no. this is a good approach speed yeah Braking probably a bit hard because you've got to get the whole mm. train in. So yep. again, you can tell on the bottom of the screen there how long the platform yep. is and where the train is. So you can make sure that you actually let the whole train in and make sure that you stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was a bit better than... That's a bit better. Yeah. Slowly but surely. Um, Trucker, you've mentioned a couple of times uh, a suburban train line in Greece from Athens to Larissa. Um, what I suggest is we've actually got a place on the main forum uh, on the uh, forums.dobshawgames.com. Dan DeMans just posted a yep. link there, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, where you can post suggestions. And what I would suggest is put some thought into the suggestion and maybe draw a track plan for it. What tracks do you think should be included, what yards? Um, and then take some photo, get some photographs or some, um, some you know, images. Uh, and then write up a bit about it. Yeah. Tell us what trains, and get some pictures of the trains. 
the more detail you can put into it, and then other people can sort of um, can help maybe add some more detail to that. But there is a really nice place on the forum where you can put proposals and suggestions, and, yeah. and it's really good to see. We really like looking at those, and some of those have made it in as uh, DLC. And we look at those every day. So we, it's not only myself as a community manager who is on the forums. I, you know, as a, I'm not very expert at this uh, yet, but um, there are people here in, in Dovedale who are more than experts. You, you know, they're world class people in trades, and they look at this every day. They have a pretty good idea of how this can turn out. So please, if you have an idea, go, but make sure you provide details because. We get quite a lot of um, um, suggestions, so we need to thousands of suggestions. Yes, we need to filter them, and uh, uh, yes, so yes, please go, but make sure it's detailed. But we are, we can guarantee we're looking at everything. There is not a single piece of communication on the forums or elsewhere on, uh, on our uh, web pages that we do not uh, are not aware about. We are, uh, are aware of absolutely everything that I can guarantee you. Okay, how are we doing? Clapham Junction. Hmm, that's I know this place. Yeah, it's a Clapham London, Junction. It? Yeah, it certainly is. It's the busiest station in Europe. Yep. Is it? Yeah. I've been there. Yeah, I've definitely been there. Yes. Um, I think one thing we haven't shown too much is for especially for new people is the amount of detail that we have around games. Most of these buttons are clickable, so it's just me as a new player. I sort of new player, um, I, uh, I'm, I'm focusing just on moving forward, but um, there's lots of things you can play with, um, as I said, we are recreating uh, tra uh, real trains, so it's a matter of extreme Im importance for us to stop at the right station at the r uh, right now at Clapham Junction, I don't want to go too far, um, yes, so it seems to be doing pretty well right now. Yes, join us tomorrow for TSW, so this is, if you're enjoying the stream, join us tomorrow. Um, we will be here for another one and a half hours on Saturday. Um, we will be a little bit more, a little bit less tired because it's weekend, so <laughs> today we are, um, been working all day, so we're slightly, um, as the British say, knackered. Almost there. Oh, come on, we can just go a little bit faster. But yes, you have to find this balance between um, braking and accelerating and approaching the, the station at the right speed. And it's it, it, it's not easy. Braking is one of the hardest things in trains, pretty much. Ferromero says, what is your role in DTG? Must be someone who missed the intro. Do you want to give just a brief intro just to everybody, anyone who's just joined, uh, Dimitri? Yes, yeah, so I'm a community manager for trains. Um, I've only joined, I've only started working here properly from last week, so I'm very new to all of this. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far, and um, you will find me on forums. I'm the one who's responsible for social media, so... Um, I, yes, you can pretty much approach me at any point um, if you have something to say or to ask, but make sure, again, that it is constructive, um, as time is a bit limited, but, um, yeah, so um, I'm, I'm going to be here for you. Um, I'm, I'm, as, I, as I've probably explained, I'm not an expert in trains. Um, Mason Necker, <laughs> yes, uh, exhausted is a, is a good word, certainly. Um, but. I wouldn't say we're still, we are exhausted. I think we're in a in a good place because it's Friday. Um, Twenty is it for us? Uh, no, that was for turning left. Okay. You're uh, mm -hmm. you're in a fifty at the moment, and you'll be staying in a fifty for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Vauxhall is your next stop. Mm -hmm. May I ask another question? Yeah, what does a community manager do? Um, well, it's a it's qui question. quite varied role. Um, it evolved quite a lot with with time. So. Initially, community manager role started as someone who is uh, sort of overseeing in games. I'm talking about games in particular. As someone who is overseeing forums that was started uh, from sort of the 90s. Um, over time, you know, these days we have so many channels for communication outside of forums. We have social media. We have I don't know Discord, Slack, well, you name it. Um, and uh, the idea of a job of a community manager to be sort of a 
to be between the developers and the gamers. So I have to bring the ideas from developers, um, deliver them to the players, and vice versa. I have to uh, get the ideas and the co feedback from players and uh, provide it to developers in a in a in a in a good in a good and constructive manner. But in addition to this, this is there's all kind of things we do from social media to working from with influencers to uh, doing live streams you know and this is basically we're sort of the face of the company so it's you have to have a certain um, you cannot be too introverted in this job so you have to be it's good if you have balance between these two because your most your biggest priority is to be there for players whenever they have some sort of a feedback or maybe there's a problem bug you know something broke you have to be there and be aware of it as soon as possible um, and at the same time you have to work for your developers you know these are the, the people who give you the messages that you need to um, um, correctly deliver it to the players so I'm obviously as a community manager I have people above me so I have a marketing manager who is directing me we have um, people who are experts in trains who are um, w whenever I have a particular question especially about trains I go and uh, uh, and I can ask uh, anyone and they provide me help so um, my yes my, I would say my biggest um, Disadvantage right now, this job, two biggest disadvantages is the fact that I'm not an expert in trains, so it's quite new to me. And secondly, I'm a, I'm not a native English speaker, which um, it actually it's it's pretty important. You know, there there's as in communication there are multiple ways you can deliver a message, and you, uh, as a foreigner as a, or someone speaking as a, it's as a second language, you may have quite limited ability to do that. So. I, I, I always ask to be patient with me, especially considering my, um, you know, language skills. So, um, yeah, so I'm breaking, I'm breaking, 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 breaking. <laughs> it's breaking, slowing, you know. it's slowing. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> I wonder if um, that's how usually it is on your streams of people asking about Yes, yeah, almost there. So we're gonna slow. We're gonna break in time, just in time. Oh yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Perfect. Yes, I, I hope I gave you an idea of what a com job as a community manager is. It, it's it's not very easy to get into. Um, <laughs> it well. It depends on. I didn't start as a member of a, some sort of a community. I found the job as a support person. So I was working in support. And later I became a community manager for a Russian, uh, uh, Russian region. Fair mirror. Now, Dimitri doesn't, ne doesn't yet know the madness of Twitch Plays Train Sim. That's what when he'll that? get to sit back and laugh at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, that's when... That's when... Uh, uh, the viewers get a chance to, to yes drive yeah we're yeah. hoping that maybe on one of the streams not not tomorrow or today but hopefully on one of the streams we'll uh, we'll try and set a twitch place train sim up we've, we've kind of got a sort of a team thing we might be able to get going on so we're going to try and get you guys in a little competition yeah we will get feedback from from this stream and uh, as i said already multiple times Feel free to join us tomorrow. Um, we will be here again, and uh, we will be streaming um, TSW, which is uh, just fantastic, especially because there it gets weekend, and uh, you can just tune in. Um, again, why are we doing all this? It's a publisher weekend. I'm not saying that we're not going to be doing any more streams, and only to uh, we're only doing it because of the publisher weekend. No, no, no. Um, we are certainly. Uh, looking to have as many streams as possible um, obviously Matt is a very uh, busy person so um, you it's very likely that in the most streams it will be myself and maybe someone else maybe we will get someone from you know dev team to bring over maybe some artists uh, maybe someone from marketing to talk about how how we're all doing uh, all of this um, I think it will be interesting I, I'll hopefully I will not overshoot the next station because it's the last one if there's things you guys want to see on the streams, um, then um, then go ahead, put, put um, let us know, put some posts on the forums about the sorts of the uh, the content that you want to see on the streams. Um, you know, beyond just driving, mm -hmm. what, what, what do you, how would you like to see the stream develop? So, definitely interested in hearing uh, hearing your thoughts. 
you know, do you want to see some interviews with people? When that creates, case, let's sort some questions out. What, you know, what sorts of things do you want to know? Uh, we'll be streaming TSW from the PC, and then playing Crips from this PC. Don't so, no, overshoot the next station. No, things no. go bad when you overshoot the next station. Forms have to be filled out and all sorts of things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have time for this. But I think going pretty well. I'm gonna focus on this. Yeah, unfortunately for those who are saying just hello, we are um, approaching not only the end of this route, but also the end of our stream. We've been streaming for um, um, well, one and a half hours now. Well, I should be breaking, I should be breaking, I should be breaking. Ah, I need to learn the keyboard, keyboard controls because... Um, it's only just a lot easier to click when you get the yes. keyboard controls. Okay, that's going fine. Can you show the outside of the train? If you, you have, if you have missed, um, if you have missed some part of the stream, I think you should be able to go to YouTube and watch it. I think. So. Eventually. I, eventually. When it gets yes. loaded. When if you have missed the stream, then certainly it's on. Tw it'll be on um, Twitch. Yep. Um, I don't know when. So we're streaming at the moment on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and Steam, mm -hmm. and some of those will automatically have it on a video on demand. So you'll be able to go to that that um, platform and um, check it out on uh, on demand. Failing that, um, it will go up to YouTube at some point soon. Yep, and soon, um, eventually on TV as well. I'm just joking. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Right, so let's just wait until we pull in and then we'll close out for tonight. Yep. This I'm is an i7 PC, Dylan, yeah. Should I go closer to the buffer? No, you're fine. But it's fine. Ed, Ed, Ed's going to judge you hardly on the harshly, but that's fine. Okay. Oh, oh, right, okay, let's just stop here. Perfect. Yes, so tomorrow, TSW, and um, I we will be playing TSW, and hopefully it will go slightly better in terms of driving, but I'm extremely helpful. I have Matt here, who has been pressing the right buttons when I wasn't even looking, so um, <laughs> I, I thank you for this. And uh, just um, to, as a conclusion, um, for the people who maybe just joined in on or who haven't heard of train simulators before, we are train simulator. Um, uh, we're Dovetail Games. We are developers of two um, products, Train Simulator 2019, which we were playing on this stream, and Train Sim uh, World, um, which is a sort of a next gen um, game uh, in in uh, about trains. So we're trying to recreate trains as 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 best as possible. So we're having a publisher um, week weekend uh, right now and we have a bunch of uh, deals on all of our uh, DLCs and base game so uh, feel free to have a look um, and if you want follow us on our social media it's quite easy to find rail simulator that's all you're looking for Twitter um, Instagram and Facebook and then you can also join us on our forums at forums at dovetailgames.com uh, and um, so yes, I will leave you for now. Um, Matt, anything you would like to say? No, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow with Dimitri and uh, we'll play some Train Sim World tomorrow. Um, yes, so yeah, nicely driven actually. Yeah. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. That was actually nicely done. Um, it's, very, it's very difficult to drive and do the streaming at the same time. And it's in, yeah. until you do it, it's difficult to actually appreciate how hard it is. I hope um, you enjoyed. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it too, folks. Thank you very much indeed for watching, folks. We'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. UK time. Uh, otherwise than that, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you. Cheers, mm -hmm. folks. Have a great weekend. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye.